Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Tuesday, March 24th, and I'm going to take you through my practice routine for today. I'm going to start out with a note pyramid at 80 beats per minute. And this is for my feet, mainly, because that's what I feel needs the most work at the moment, especially my left foot. It lacks control and speed and endurance and all the things, you know. So this note pyramid exercise includes quarter notes, quarter note triplets, eighth notes, eighth note triplets, 16th notes, and 16th note triplets. And then it goes back down. And it does that four times before moving on to the next tempo, which is five beats per minute faster. So we're going to start at 80. And I'm going to set it up like a groove with eighth note hi-hats. Uh, yes, which uh, involves some polyrhythms going on there. Uh, now, I've worked out the timing for that in previous practices to the point where I feel comfortable enough that I can focus on my feet mostly. So there are... Um, I'm working on a few things. I'm keeping a few things in mind as I do this, uh, trying to keep the timing tight, which is why I start with the eighth note, so I can really uh, get the muscle memory for that. I'm going to do that on the right hand first at 80, and then when I move to 85, I'm going to switch it to the left hand. So I'm doing the harder stuff at slower tempos here. Uh, the next time at 90 is going to be back to my right hand lead. Um, oh, and by the way, at 85, when I'm leading with the left hand, I'm also leading with the left foot, because uh, I feel that's a strong way to build. Uh, a good way to build strength in the left limbs, which for me are the weak ones uh, because I'm right-handed. So right-hand lead 80 at 80, left-hand lead at 85. I'm going to go back to right-hand at 90, uh, doing quarter notes this time to sort of get the muscle memory for that feel. Left-hand at 95, left foot, quarter notes. Then I'm probably going to do unison hands and feet for a couple of times and then do feet only for a couple of times and see if I can continue past that. Um, as it gets to the higher tempos, I'm going to need more focus on the feet, so that's when I'll start to drop out the other limbs and just work on the foot stuff. So here we go. Pyramid at 80. Eighty five left foot lead.
to the right foot, quarter notes. Left foot lead, quarter. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause there for a second. So, things I'm paying attention to uh, at the with the quarter note hi hat subdivision. Uh, I'm really just trying to feel the beat, I'm trying to feel the beat against whatever note subdivision I'm playing with my feet. Whereas with the eighth note subdivision earlier, I was really going for super accuracy and and it was more analytical. Now I'm trying to feel it. Um, Especially when I'm on the left hand, I'm trying to work on fluidity and building my weak limbs. So I had a big focus on, on trying to get molar to feel comfortable. Like I'm, I'm at the point where I can do it. I can go through the motion, but it doesn't feel fluid like it does with my right hand. So trying to get that to set in, all of this to set into muscle memory. It's the long game here. I'm not trying to be the best tomorrow. I'm just trying to be better a little bit every day and then see what happens in a few weeks, months, years. So... That's my focus right now, and um, so getting that left hand and foot to feel more natural and fluid, and also give it a bit more aggression, uh, which we naturally give our strong limbs, so I'm trying to artificially force that on my weak limb until it starts to feel natural. So, uh, Okay, now I am up to 100, 
and you know I'm not winning any speed competitions here but this is where my weak limbs start to fail me so I'm gonna try to double up hands and feet I'm gonna try to just play this one unison and um, let's see yeah and then I'll probably just get to feet only so we'll see how that goes Got excited, ended a bar early. Okay. So more than ever, I'm trying to keep it tight and not let flams happen between my feet and hands. I hear it happening a lot with the left foot, so that's just where I am. Um, again, no amount of trying hard is going to fix that today. Uh, but hopefully over time, this will happen less and less. It'll get cleaner and cleaner as long as I'm focusing and engaged on it. And, uh, and we'll see. We'll see if that's true. So now 105, switching to left-hand lead. I'm fully expecting this to fall apart, especially on the 16th note triplets. Here we go. Okay, uh, yeah, not the cleanest thing in the world, but I'm getting there. Now it's becoming more of a workout. I'm, I'm, I'm getting warmed up at this point, so now I'm just trying to drive home a little bit of a workout at the end of this. Feet only. Here goes. 110.
Okay. Not the best, but there were some parts that I was kind of happy with. And I think it happened when I was able to just relax enough to... Every time I think I need to go fast, my feet tense up and go for too fast. And it shows a lack of control, especially with the left foot. It just rushes into it. So my goal there was to just relax and not feel like I had to go too fast. And then it sort of started to happen. Now, there's volume fluctuations, which are also a sign of, you know, a lack of control. So, um, but, you know, all in all, I'm pretty happy with that. Here goes um, 115 left foot. not terribly upset with that. <clears throat> Could be way better. Here's hand. Okay, so yeah, even my hands need a little work at this point. So <laughs> there you go, daily practice, y'all. All right, thanks for joining me. Uh, I'm gonna run a few songs now just for fun. Got it. Got to have fun with it, you know. Can't be all work and no play, and the other way around, of course. So know your personality, know what you tend to overfocus on, and then balance it out. Okay. Here's a song I'm working on called "Touch and Go" by a band called Intervals who I got into because I found out that I knew Pasastri, uh, well, I, f I discovered him on YouTube, found out he played for intervals for a while, saw some live videos, thought it was incredible, got obsessed with this song after checking out intervals, only to find out later he's not actually the drummer on this song, but I still love it. It's called Touch and Go, and I'm going to run it first at 85% uh, speed with this awesome app that I use called Music Speed Changer, which I believe is free, or I don't know, if not, maybe it's a couple of bucks. Yeah, even if it is, it's worth it. Um, I got it on the Google Play Store. Music Speed Changer. Pretty sweet. Here we go. Touch and go. 85% speed.
I got goofy and unplugged my headphones right before the coolest part in the whole song. Let's try that again. And I forgot like the coolest fill in the whole song. Well, this is why we practice. Here goes again. Biff to the ending. Anyway, here we go at full speed, and then I'll call it a day. Wish me luck. There goes my alarm. Ah, I was feeling that too. All right, here we go. Back to the last section.
still biffed the ending. I need to give that ending another go real quick. That's just not fair. All right, close enough. Hey, thanks for joining me today, guys. I got to run. Uh, I got a Skype lesson coming up. See you later.